How's it going everybody? It's boy Pixelate Pat. It's my pleasure to welcome you back to another episode of our Pokemon Gaia Hardcore Nuzlocke. Today on the agenda we'll be exploring Nemesis River and getting some really cool items along the way, including the absolute game changer that was the Helix Fossil we just picked up. The run has officially been blessed and now that we have the Helix to guide us, I foresee that ultimate victory awaits us. All praise Lord Helix. Anyways, aside from getting our river encounter, which was a Nuzleaf, which I eloquently named Nuzlocke, uh, the first major thing we have on the agenda is heading into this narrow path to find the hidden grotto where we find an Altarian Knight. This is one reason why I was super excited that our encounter at Cebulo Cross was Swabby the Swablu, aka the fluffiest pirate that ever was. I'm super stoked that the idea of having a Mega Altaria later in the run, so you can bet we'll be seeing a lot of it in the future. And generally speaking, that's one of the main reasons I was so excited to play this game in the first place. Having the opportunity to challenge Mega Pokemon is sweet enough itself, but the fact that I get to have access to my own Mega Pokemon is the icing on the cake. Aside from Blaziken and Latias in the one time I played Omega Sapphire, I don't have any experience using Mega Pokemon myself. I'm excited that I finally get to have that experience, and I can't wait to see what my final team will look like with Mega Evolution as an option. Anyways, you probably noticed by now that I'm using background music in this video instead of using the audio from the footage like I normally do, and the reason for that is simple. Your boy forgot to hit record device audio when I was recording the segment of the game. Little bit of an oversight, but that's why I decided to use the uh, OST for Icarus City from Pokemon Black and White. I felt like it was fitting since I'm featuring our recently evolved Swoobat in this episode, not to mention how fire all of Gen 5's OST is. So it seemed like a sound decision, pun fully intended. But definitely don't forget to let me know if you enjoy this style of video. I might not do it for every video due to how important the game's OST can be for delivering a certain experience during tense moments, but if you guys enjoy it enough then I can definitely get it done in the future. I might be running a poll in my community tab so keep an eye out for that, but you can always let me know in the comments below. And also while you're at it, don't forget to let me know how you feel about the background I've been using for the last couple of videos because uh, for the first 10 or so episodes I was using the map of the Orbitus region as the backdrop for my videos but I just got to a point where I wasn't liking it all that much and I thought to myself why not just make my own and I really like the way that this one came out but don't forget to let me know how you guys feel about it because after all this journey on YouTube is still a huge work in progress due to how new I am to this style of content and I'm very open to trying different things so don't be surprised if I switch it up again in the near future as I continue to find ways to push myself to make a better video than the one I made last. Oh yeah and you probably noticed that we picked up the TM for Dig just a second ago and you can bet that I'll be adding that to Fawns after we're able to evolve him into a Needle King. I'm just waiting until he hits level 35 so he can learn Toxic Spikes because you can't have too many Toxic Spikes users. Anyways, we actually had a pretty interesting battle with a close call here. That nose pass was able to hit four of his five rock pass, forcing me to switch out immediately. Luckily, Sturdy was already broken, so it was easy pickings for Phineas. However, he instantly got frozen by that Polyswine, forcing me to switch out to Magna, who instantly got press coming in, having to take a couple of attacks and getting put down to five HP in the process. Luckily, she has stab and priority, so she's able to stand strong and pull through. But man, was that a close call! And I gotta say, this is starting to remind me a lot of my Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke with how many close calls I'm experiencing with my starter. I definitely had more than a couple with my lovely Gardevoir, but luckily she was always able to pull through the same way Magna has been every time she's on the field and comes close to death. One thing's for sure, if this run shapes up to be any more like my Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke, then that will be great news for me. After all, that was my first and only Deathless League that I've ever had since I started Nuzlocking. It was definitely a great accomplishment and I hope that I can repeat it again, although I'm not exactly holding my breath on that. Yeah, you'll probably notice that I picked up an old Amber Fossil right there. Definitely a great pickup. I haven't yet decided when I'm going to head back over to Argentown to revive a fossil to count as my Argentown encounter, but you can bet your bottom dollar that I'll be reviving Aerodactyl. I bet you guys were thinking I was going to revive the Helix Fossil, but after my Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke when he led me past the ledge of Route 9 where I encountered all those legendaries and still somehow survived, I decided that not reviving the Helix Fossil is going to be a tradition in my run so that way I can continue to consult his guidance whenever I want without risking him dying on the battlefield. After all, the death of the Almighty Helix would be a most detestable blasphemy and one I cannot afford as a longtime worshipper of Lord Helix.
Anyways, we are fast approaching the end of the video, so as always, I want to take a moment to thank all of you wonderful people who have been taking the time out of your day to support the channel. The support that you guys show me keeps me motivated to keep pumping out the best content that I can, and I can't wait to share more with you. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you're new, because every bit of support goes a very long way. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you in the next one. Pixelated Pat, out.